Jeez. <sighs> Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Come in, young men. Come, come. One steamy hot dog. Best Yero Sid City. Hey, watch where you're going. What you are having today? States troops fighting alongside local guerrilla forces have begun taking back the Pacific nation's capital. Feel free to look around. Just let me know if you need anything.
Anything else I can do for you? Take care and come. Hey, pal, you need to fill up. Full tank, please. Be done in a jiffy. All right. Almost done there, boss. We'll be back on the road in no time. Have a good day. Thank you. Goodbye. Who's here? <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day? Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. It wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? Think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light bulb. Look, don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. But it was small-time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. Quit whining and keep in touch with Derek, trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats.
Calm down, I know what I'm doing. Good evening. So, something I can do for you? Thanks a lot. Version to red lights? Take your fucking foot off the accelerator! Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Vito, open this door. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Prove it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here oh, for fuck you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get ass. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on! Let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit! Cops! Watch my ass while I open this door. Keep those assholes off my back! Almost got it. Pull him off just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! It's our only shot. Come on, Vito, move your ass! What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. 
We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit! Jesus, be careful. Almost lost you there. Yeah. I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street. He's never gonna believe this. <laughs> Stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! Look at the Irish my hands! <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick Bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there.
Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have party. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the uh, fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. sunk in the Gulf of Lingayen alone. The tactic known as Kamikaze, where Japanese pilots, due to shortages in fuel and bullets, are dive-bombing their planes into Allied warships, is sure suicide for the pilots who volunteer for the grim task. Though Allied forces are fighting back, they are still trying to figure out just how to effectively counter this desperate and horrific new form of aerial warfare. With Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. That's how loot. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... 
I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure. Uh, what next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see you guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... I uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. I see you around.
Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. See you around, Vito.
across the globe, world events are happening at record pace. From the war overseas to the yard sale next door, nobody delivers the news faster than the Empire Times. Our top drawer reporters work at breakneck speeds to get you the late-breaking news as early as possible. So get your Times hot off the presses first thing in the morning. For the latest in Empire Bay and the world, nothing is faster or more reliable than the Empire Times. The Empire Times, the news you need to know.